Hi everyone, um, I'm just going to show you now how to make a candlestick. Now I have to say, um, I've looked at these on the internet, uh, on eBay, and they're selling them for £5.50, which is round about $7, $8 for one. And I'm going to show you how to make that. And all you're going to need is a glue stick. Remember those? I ruined all those. Well, I saved them. I don't waste them. Um, I've cut one ready. Just cut a piece off. Um, what I'm going to do, I've got a little bit of black cotton. Could have been a little bit thicker than it is, but it doesn't matter. It is a miniature. Pop a bit of glue on the top. Cut a piece of the thing that I'm going to use for a wick. I'm just pop that inside there and let that dry and while that's drying what you need to do is shave off because it depends on the bead you're using I've got that bead spacer I've got a little cup one a little cap uh, and I've got a flat one like that like it's, you know so to fit in that one and just have to shave it off a little bit so I just cut a little bit all the way around like that and then I take that add a bit of glue to it and then sit that in that bead in that cap like that so that's the first part now take any excess glue off it take the wick cut the wick as long as you want it now attach that to that bead there Now, I know people say, um, you know, um, wow, miniatures, uh, they're, they're not time-consuming. I don't care what anybody says. It, depending on what part of a miniature you're doing. I mean, a candlestick is nowhere, it doesn't, I don't know where they get the prices from. I really don't. Because, you know, if you think how many bead caps and that you can buy for what you've got. Just make sure that we can try and get that level-ish. And there, I can have that like that. But what I'm doing with mine, I'm painting mine black. And all you do, take hold of that. Uh, just let me get the paintbrush. Take some black paint and just start painting it. Like that. And £5.50, even more, I've seen them for more, but that was the cheapest one I found. Um, and I've just done that for next to nothing. So it is better, if you're going to do things like this, is make your own. And, you know, it's true what I say. Make what you can, or make what you can't buy, if you can make it. And buy what you can't make. Now that candlestick, I would say, is just as good, if not better, than the one for £5.50 on sale on eBay. And I know the miniature makers are going to say, Oh God, look what she's doing, taking trade. No, I'm not. I'm saving people money. And having the pleasure of making their own. So there you go. Um, I've now got two candlesticks. They are slightly uh, taller, the candles, but I don't want them the same. Oh, and then what you can do is, I always do, and I've just forgotten to do mine. Take your glue gun, pop a little bit of glue from the top, and do that with it. So it looks like it's dripping down. You can actually take it down, you know, onto the candlestick itself. And that looks even better, and that is definitely better than what you can buy online. Make your own. Put a little bit of wax on it. It looks like it's dripped onto there. And there you go. Isn't that fab? Make your own. <laughs> Just thought I'll come back and show you that. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye for now.